Coach, uh, final uh, final week, uh, or final road trip mm -hmm. uh, that you guys are going to make uh, this week. And, uh, uh, you know, just kind of talk about uh, how you're getting ready for this uh, road trip and facing, uh, once again, uh, you got some difficult opponents uh, ahead for you guys. There's no question. I mean, both San Bernardino and San Diego, uh, you know, as you said, are going to be tough opponents. They're going to be challenges for us. Uh, we're just taking, as we always do, we're just taking one game at a time. So right now our focus is on San Bernardino, and that's who we're preparing for this week in practice. Um, you know, Pomona, uh, with the loss, and you've uh, stressed defense uh, this season, limiting the other team. And uh, what didn't go right uh, in that game? Well, you know, it was really disappointing from the – from a few standpoints, but I really felt like we had a great week in practice. I mean, the girls were coming out every day just really focused and and determined on executing what we wanted to do defensively. We did a few different things that game. Um, and as much as we did well in some areas, we obviously let Benton go off on us. And, you know, with 32 points, that's just unacceptable. And as I explained to the girls, we, we can't just be satisfied with doing a few things well. Um, as far as executing our scout, and that was certainly on our scout that she was going to be a shooter and that she was going to take a lot of threes. And they weren't contested threes. We didn't make her work for her threes. They were wide open shots, and and she was knocking them down. So that obviously was very disappointing. Uh, you know, obviously you want wins in these last two weeks, but are there other areas as a coach from the coaching standpoint that you're looking at, uh, not only the wins, but to do, do well on the court? Absolutely. I mean, just progress, uh, just showing improvement and showing progress, which I there's no question we have. I mean, I think every individual player in our basketball team has, has improved this year individually um, and also collectively as a team. And I've said all along, as cliche as it sounds, that, you know, in February we want to be playing our best basketball. And we're still having ups and downs. I think that's just the result of inexperience and, and youth and a number of different things. But you know, even yesterday in practice, the girls came out and they practiced their tail off. And that's what I really, uh, I'm appreciative of, of this group of girls. They, they come every single day and they're ready to go. And, you know, I really feel like their heads are in the right place and they're bought in as far as doing what we're asking them to do. Um, do we have to execute better? Absolutely. But I have been pleased with the progress, but I expect us to improve even more in these last two, hopefully three weeks of the season. Yeah, yeah throughout the season, injuries, all that. Uh, are, do you see your players that they're not going to say they're gassed, but just do you kind of see the final uh, stretch that, that it's been amongst those players that you know haven't competed in a college season? Do, do you see that uh, at all? I don't. I really don't with this group. Um, I mean, like I said, yesterday was an extremely intense physical practice, and you know they they know what the situation is right now as far as approaching the last two weeks of the season. And like I told them, we've, we've made things tough on us. Um, but there's still, you know, room for improvement. There's still realistic goals that we can attain in these last two weeks of the regular season. And, you know, even someone such as Tyra Turner, a freshman, playing 40 minutes a game, you might think, well, wow, you know, this is really wearing down on her and she's, she's hitting a wall here. And I don't feel that way at all. Um, I really don't. From Tyra, you know, across the board and the team, they're just they're coming ready to go. Um, if you could talk uh, about the matchup uh, and how you guys match up against uh, San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. um, well, just, I mean, there's, they have Maya Johnson on the inside, and she's, I'm actually familiar with Maya Johnson as she used to be in the same conference that I was in when I was coaching in Texas. Um, she was at University of Texas Permian Basin, so I'm, I'm very familiar with her, and um, they have, you know, a lot of different weapons on the floor. They have inside-outside threat, and as always, there's just certain things that we have to do, not just with one or two players, but all five players out on the court that we have got to execute on the defensive end. And then on the offensive end, you know, against the Pomona, against Pomona, I never really felt like we got in a good flow offensively. We had some really good open looks, and it just happened to be a night where we weren't knocking down shots ourselves. Um, obviously, we need a balance, whether it be San Bernardino or San Diego. We need a balance in both offense and defense. All right. Any questions? Um, <clears throat> Coach, I know that you said that you guys did a couple different things going into the last game. Do you think you're going to go back to what you've done earlier in the season, or do you think you're going to maybe take a different approach to San Bernardino? No, the things that we did differently with Pomona, I mean, obviously they have two big presents inside with Wadi Blow and Brooks, and those were their leading scorers. And, you know, I felt like we did a decent job on them, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, we were so incredibly focused on them that I thought we lost sight of the other players on the floor that were definitely more than capable of being scorers as well. And, and that's what I mean by we just have to, you know, we have to 
execute everything, not just one or two players. So are we going to do anything different approaching San Bernardino? Uh, we're going to, you know, every game is different. We go into each game with kind of a different defensive concept, defensive philosophy, depending on the opponent's personnel. So San Bernardino presents some challenges that maybe Pomona did or did not, a little bit different. So, of course, we're going to attack it that way this week in practice.